if you are interviewing me right now for BuzzFeed, what, what are some of the things you're curious about? Do you have any of those weird Amazon, Google type questions? I have seen those questions and I think they're good. And, and, but Google's hiring for a specific type of individual. And what I found is Google's an amazing company, but someone that worked at Google is not necessarily gonna work at BuzzFeed because we don't have the resources, we're not a must buy, you need more passion and storytelling and intellectual curiosity to solve a client problem. So I'm a, on the OCD side, so I have uh, over 100 interview questions that I have oh, wow. uh, in a spreadsheet. Um, I, I look for 13 criteria that I think make uh, a successful BuzzFeed salesperson. The number one being intellectual curiosity. And the reason I think that's number one is, you know, in the olden days, you know, you'd want a salesperson that was like aggressive and competitive and like, you know, um, brings in deals. And that's still important, but if, if the salesperson isn't curious enough to really study a client's business and figure out how they can help them and um, not get um, disappointed if a door slams in their face, that they're, they're, they're just so curious to solve a problem, I find that to be the number one criteria for success, at least in a startup environment. How do you interview for that? Because, you know, I, I've been interviewing a lot and I think, you know, a lot of people, you know, struggle with interviewing. You may have 30, 40 minutes with someone. Yes. How do you get a real sense of that? Yeah. From just a 5, 10, 15 minute conversation. Yeah. We don't believe in gotcha questions or <laughs> things like that. But we, we do, I try to let them tell a story about themselves or a problem that they solved or a challenge that they faced and let them run. I mean, if someone can tell a story and, and make it cogent and erudite and interesting, then I think that they've got a good shot. One thing that we, we are starting to do is um, um, we ask our top candidates to take personality profiles. Mm. And um, I share the results with the candidate. And um, it's always interesting because, you know, we think we know ourselves, but do we really know ourselves? And, and this is sort of an objective way to to get data on what this person's good at and what they need to work on. And um, when we end up bringing that person on, it's, it's also a good management roadmap to say, okay, this person is great at this and not so great at this. And as a manager, you wanna focus on what they're great at.